Illiteracy can be defined as a state of inability to read and write. The rate at which illiteracy is spreading in Nigeria is alarming. The percentage is staggering and the more reason it is given government food for thought. The development is attributable to the growing demand for quality education and corruption despite huge budgeting for the sector. For instance, in 1997, Nigeria had 25 million illiterates, with the figure skyrocketing to 35 million in 2013. The last four years, the figures have doubled, thus causing the worry. Factors associated with illiteracy include displacement by insurgency, school dropouts, clashes among communities, and civil conflicts, to mention but a few. But now with this index, with this school expanding, people are no longer going to school again. Because of what reason we will not care. But the facts remain there, yes. It's not just a matter of concern to Nigeria in law. We have only the UN body that UN bodies that are concerned with the issue of illiteracy. And that's why we have many programs being undertaken by them in order to curb this large number of illiteracy. Against this backdrop, respondents say religious bodies, governments as well as non-governmental organizations and parents need to work in partnership to revive early childhood education as the only panacea to end illiteracy given the alarming rates across the country. I encouraging the government, encouraging the community, encouraging the parents to enroll their child early in life into education. The government has to sensitize the parents, and uh, the government also has to live up to its expectations. Senator Beatrice, 2-6 News.